Hey, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Jay the Comedian. How y'all doing today? Does your religion stand up to common sense? These are all the questions I've had as a Jehovah Witness that I just really couldn't ask, but they were always there. So just go along with me and see if you've had the same questions. Okay, let's start at the very beginning. So God created the heavens and the earth, and then he created Adam. Out of the dust of the earth, he created Adam blew into his nostrils, which is disgusting, and gave him life. Okay, cool. And then he took Adam rib and made a woman. Couple things there. Why didn't he just make the woman out of dust also? It just makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Was he like being lazy and like, ah, I don't want to have to go through the entire thing over. I could just duplicate starting at this rib. Okay, that's kind of lazy, but okay, I, I, I see what you did there. I'm not going to trip about it too hard. So anyway, moving on further. He puts a tree with the knowledge of good and bad and the fruit. And then says, you can eat from any tree in the garden, but this fruit right here you can't have. Why would you do that? Couple things there. Why would you even make a forbidden tree? You know, you didn't have storage in heaven and maybe it was too expensive to store it in heaven. So you had to store it on earth, which would technically be like your basement. I do the same thing, but it just kind of like, you know, it's a dick move knowing that you know, you tell somebody they can't do something, that's literally the one thing they can't stop thinking about. You know, I've known this all my life, knowing humans, and you probably know humans better than me because you're God and you created us. But I digress. You put the forbidden tree of knowledge of good and bad on the planet. But still further, why would you put the knowledge of good and bad inside of a fruit? All the fruit I've ever eaten in my life, it never gave me knowledge of good and bad. It just gave me gas. A lot of it. And why wouldn't you want people to have the knowledge of good and bad? Like, what? why are you hiding that from people? What is, what's wrong about that? And if you are hiding it, and if it is so dangerous, why wouldn't you, like, lock it up? Like the same way somebody would lock up a gun from their children. You know what I'm saying? But I digress. We can move on. So apparently, Satan the devil took the form of a serpent. A serpent with legs. So a lizard, I guess. And uh, they say a serpent, but, uh, you know, the Bible, they also say he cursed the serpent to move on his belly. I guess he took his legs from him, right? Cool. So, if you see him take this shape as a serpent, and you're an all-knowing God, and you know he intends to fool the lady, to <laughs> fool the lady, why didn't you intervene? And when you see her, when you see him talking to Eve, why also didn't you intervene there? And when you seen Eve about to eat the fruit, why once again didn't you intervene there? Bunch of questions. And I also know that people say that the serpent lied to Eve. Apparently, he told Eve, if you eat the fruit, you'll get the knowledge of good and bad. Then she ate the, then she ate the fruit and got the knowledge of good and bad. So technically, he didn't lie. That's like me, if I'm talking to a girl and I say, hey baby, I got an average sized penis. And then we about to get it on. She pulled my pants down. She's like, oh my God. You have an average size penis. You lied to me. I'm like, no, baby. I truth to you. You didn't believe it or something. I don't know. Anyway, I digress. Couple things though. Still, how can you punish a person for doing something wrong when they didn't have the knowledge of good and bad also? It doesn't make sense to me. Now, I know they say the logic of man is foolish, but God Damn it, a lot of stuff just logically ain't making sense. And if anybody had to measure whether or not my logic is correct and God's logic is uh, wrong or vice versa, I think I'm coming out ahead on this one. I'm just saying. <laughs> I didn't create anything, but I'm pretty sure that uh, I'm right about this one, you know? And then it goes further. Like, it doesn't stop there. So apparently, sin entered through Adam and Eve and to all the kids following. Why didn't they have kids before? I don't know. They should have started banging day one. That's what I would have done. But okay, whatever. All the kids got seen. And now he needs to see in his son to come and die so that our sins can be forgiven. What? Let's make sure we get our head wrapped around that. The people he created seeing, so he had to see another perfect person to die so he can forgive 
the rest of the people, but sin is still there. So basically, he kind of died for nothing, and he's still planning on killing everybody anyway. So yeah, God, that's your religion, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so yes, you may question why I don't believe. I'm still logically trying to wrap my head around it in the first place. Now, I know some of you are going to post a bunch of scriptures, and I'm going to tell you, the Bible is pretty much just as ridiculous as the story I just told you. Religion has a really, 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 really hard time of standing up to logic. And morality, to be honest with you. You know, there's a lot of unmoral things that happen in the Bible. But I'm just saying, this is my humble opinion. And some of the questions I had that just simply did not make sense to me when I was a Jehovah Witness and still does it to this day. But you know what? If you know better, send me something in the comments. Please don't use the Bible because I don't listen to the Bible or... I don't find it to be a logical, reasonable source of information. You're not scared of meanie? Anyway, it's your boy, Jay the Comedian. Holla at Chiguala. Deuces.